Hey guys, welcome back to the Joe Jaguar Show. Okay, so let's talk about this. Now, I did a video about these two guys because I actually wanted, a, I had one of these ones, I believe, I'm not sure if it was metal back then or plastic. This one is metal, this part is plastic. But I had one of these basic ones and you basically move everything by hand, up and down, left and right. So I wanted to try something better and there was a lot of great reviews of this guy, Celestron XYZ. I've used this for a while now and there's some issues with it. So I purchased this guy. Now this is called the Next Go. Now this one, let me put it over here is very similar to this guy here. It's actually a little bit more compact. So if you guys want something to put in your case that doesn't take as much real estate or space in your case, this one is a little bit shorter. Very similar as far as this part here where you put your cell phone in and spring loaded. Uh, same as this one. But this guy here, it actually folds and it has, let me see if I can do it. There, like that. There. So, it's very similar as far as the bottom halves are concerned. It's, the difference is going to be on the way it clamps to the eyepiece. So, I have not used this guy better, but I have used this guy where it clamps onto the eyepiece, and this is very similar. So, I think this is a better movement. This one here still has the geared system, so it's moving this way and then up and down it's this but now you could put it on your eyepiece and then lock it down but you don't have movement in this direction so you'll just have to put it up and down manually but that's not a big deal once you find the height lock it down and then it will never move where this guy had some play on it maybe that's why they developed this guy after this guy but it's too bad i didn't know that so I am now, I'm gonna try to use this guy. I'll give this one away. But uh, just thought I'd let you guys know. So this guy actually incorporates a little bit of both of these guys, which is now this guy. And I think that's much better because I like the locking system off here, but I like the slow motion controls off here. So I'm gonna try this guy. And again, it folds down into more portability which is definitely great. Uh, let me see if I can get it back down. It's a little, you gotta get used to it because it has like a hinge there, a hinge system. You gotta get used to that. Once you get used to that, it should be okay. Anyway, guys, that's it. So I just wanted to show you guys the difference between the XYZ and the Next Go. I think this one's a better one, but you guys, if you own this one, do you like it? Do you? have the same issues as me with this part here not being secure to your eyepiece you tell me and if any of you guys have this one tell me what you think about that one if any of you guys have both tell me what you think if i'm right or what you think joe jaguar like comment subscribe i'll see you on the next channel uh, if you know anybody getting into astronomy and telescopes send them my link if you're on the forums and you see anybody asking maybe a question like this, send them the link to that one. Why not you? Why not me? Hey guys, welcome back to the Joe Jaguar Show, your best friend in science and astronomy. Well, I hope at least one of them. Ethan from MSN asked me if they would like to do a video on this. This is a, it's called a tri-adapter uh, phone. It's a cell phone camera adapter, okay? But uh, this is what it looks like. This is brand new in the box. Let's get to it. Now, I have used it, but anyway. So as you guys know, I've done a few videos now on cell phone adapters. Now, the first one I used was like a $20 one. 
Um, I don't have it anymore because they're kind of almost garbage, but I'll put one on the screen. I used one of those for a couple months. Uh, the plastic ones are really garbage. It's really when you're starting off, but then I, slow, I upgraded right away to a metal one within a month. That's better than a plastic one, but again, not that great. So then you guys saw I went to the Celestron Next YZ. That one was a big improvement, but it also wasn't perfect either. I didn't like that clamping system. I sold that off. Then you guys saw what I've been using for almost all this time now is the Next Go. Now, I'm even selling it. And that's how good this one is. So, let's get to it. All metal construction. Okay, nice color scheme right there. Now this part, I believe is a 2.4 inch. It opens up really big. Um, actually, how big does this one open? Since it's here, let's give it a shot. Oh, big difference. Let me, let me show you guys. So that's how big of an eye piece that you can fit. Now this one, as you can see, look at the difference of that square. Now, yeah, I can I can push that out to there, right? I'll do it for you guys. So this one, I'm able to fit. You know, most inch and a quarter eye pieces, but something that's like a medium, like my mead super wide, um, I don't think fit, no, I don't think it fits in there. I use normally the 18, but just look at the big difference there. You can fit a much bigger eyepiece, probably a two inch eyepiece in there, but depending on which two inch eyepiece, of course, it's impossible to, to know every single one. Uh, my big 31 millimeter, I doubt it, because it's much bigger than that. But it should fit most smaller uh, two inch eyepieces. So I've used this guy and that's why I'm going to sell this guy because it is a better version. What that lacks is the movement of up and down on the eyepiece. So that's the only bad thing I found there. But this one is just more precision. Okay. Again, you put your cell phone here, has lots of movement. Now what I noticed with this one, I don't know if you can notice the teeth or the gears on all of the three axis. They're very, very fine, meaning that you can, some people might say it's slightly, the downfall is you're always, you know, to get every angle as you're turning, 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 turning. But what that means, because the, the gears are so fine, is that you have minute movement. It's like a millimeter at a time, not like, you know? So in a way that's kind of good. So cell phone goes here. You have one axis here that moves this up and down. Again, it's very fine teeth, very fine movement. It, it should fit just about every cell phone you have up and down. And this one does have, and unlike this one, it doesn't have the up and down uh, motion on your eyepiece. So this one does have it. So again, I've used this move, shoot, move, and this is what I'm keeping now. It can fit a very big eyepiece. It locks it down very tight. It has movements in the A, B, C, and it's not coarse movements. It's very fine movement. It's made out of metal and like nice uh, machined metal. I did see this on John's channel. The only thing at that time when I saw that, that was about a year and a half minimum, was the price kind of threw me off. It is a bit more expensive than even this guy. But the thing is, you always pay for a better quality version. I always wanted one that could fit my 24.5 uh, millimeter super wide, which is a like large inch and a quarter. So if you have something like the Delios, uh, the Delights, the Radians, you know, some of those bigger inch and a quarter, it's gonna fit and it probably could fit some of those smaller two inch models as well. Maybe not every single two inch, but you know, it's the only adapter that I have found 
that could even go to a two inch, you know what I mean? And that's built really good quality. So this is gonna be my go-to uh, guy uh, now. It does come with a Wi-Fi uh, or remote uh, shutter or clicker. Uh, that way you're not touching the phone. I don't really use it. On all my other models, I just to touch the phone, you know, you could just touch it very slightly. But I guess if you have big, heavy fingers, use use the uh, Wi-Fi adapter. Uh, again, guys, that's really it. So if you guys are looking for a cell phone camera adapter and you don't want to do what I do, those cheap $10 or $15 plastic one, then to go to a metal one, then to go to the Celestron XYZ, then to go to the Celestron Next Go. Now, I did use this one for a long time, almost two years, and I liked it, but I didn't want to go to this price point. But once you use it, then you know the fine precision quality that you're getting. So I would recommend, if you guys don't want to go through all the headaches that I did and you just want one that's going to fit almost every eyepiece that you have, it's going to fit eyepieces that the others aren't going to fit anyway, but has more precision uh, guiding precision movement just get this one you might as well you know so again thanks Ethan for uh, sending it to me I'd like it so um, I'm gonna try to put it on my description where you guys can buy it through my channel uh, type of thing if you like as an affiliate it, it will help the channel and you're getting a good product that I support and I think is good quality. So that's really it guys. If you're looking for a good cell phone camera and you don't want to upgrade like this is going to be the fifth one. One, two, three, four. This will be the fifth one now. So if you want to just go to the, a good one and be done with it, uh, then just go this route. Right. Anyway guys, that's it. Like, comment and subscribe. If you guys know anybody getting in the hobby and maybe they're looking for a try, which means a three-way movement camera adapter. Show them my video and get the move, shoot, move. You're gonna be very happy with it. Comes also with a little pouch. And uh, there you go. I'll see you guys on the next video. If you guys would like to join the members channel, I do put one video once a month that only the members can see. It doesn't go on the regular public. And I put your name in the description. It helps the channel. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. Why not you? Why not me? Hey guys, so now I have an affiliate program going on with this Move Shoot Move camera adapter. So if you're looking for one and you want to use the link in my description, then please do. I believe you get a discount. Hopefully you enjoy it.